This tutorial video is about using triangle congruence theorems. There are five ways to prove that two triangles are congruent, and here they are. SSS stands for side, side, side. That means that um, we can prove that these two triangles are congruent if we know that we have three pairs of congruent sides. So if these sides are the same length, and if we know that these are the same length, and if we know that these are the same length, that's enough information to say that um, the triangles are congruent, side, side, side. Side, angle, side. So um, this means two sides and the angle in the middle. So for example, if we know that these sides are congruent, and if we know that these sides are congruent, so those are the two S's. Now the angle has to be between the two sides. So it would have to be this angle, because it's between the two sides, is congruent to this angle. So this would be enough information to know that the triangles are congruent. Angle, side, angle. So we have two angles and a side congruent to two angles and a side. The side has to be between the angles. So for example, if we know that these angles are congruent, so there's the first angle, and uh, let's say if we know that these angles are congruent, okay, there's the second angle. Now, the side has to be the side between the angles. It couldn't be this side over here. It would have to be this side and this side. Um, that brings us to angle, angle, side. Now, um, this is similar to the last one. Notice that in both cases, we have two angles and a side. Two angles and a side. So what's the difference? Well, angle, side, angle, you have to have the two angles and the side between them. For angle, angle, side, you need two angles and the side that is not between them. So for example, say if I have again, well, you know what, let me use a different angle this time. Say if we have um, this angle is congruent to this angle, and say if I know that this angle is congruent to this angle. Now if I were doing angle side angle, I would want to know that these sides are congruent. This would be angle side angle. But for angle angle side, you want the non-included side. So I might say, for example, this side is congruent to that side. So I have two angles and a side that is not in between them. And that's angle angle side. All right, let me try to squeeze this last one in here. HL stands for hypotenuse leg. Now, first of all, only a right triangle has a hypotenuse. So we need to make sure that we are talking about right triangles if we are going to prove them congruent by hypotenuse leg. Now, of course, uh, hypotenuse means that uh, you have to have a pair of hypotenuses that you know are congruent. The hypotenuse being the side across from the 90 degree angle, so there you go. Now the other sides are called legs. So you need a hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle. So for example, if I knew that this side was congruent to this side, that's a hypotenuse and a leg congruent to a hypotenuse and a leg. So that would be enough to to say that these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. Notice that there is no congruence theorem for angle, 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 or side, side, angle. So if you have three pairs of congruent angles, you got nothing in terms of proving the triangles are congruent. If you have two sides and the angle that is not between them, you know, so we, have, we already have side, angle, side. That's two sides and an angle but the angle has to be in the middle. If you have two sides and an angle that's not in the middle, you know, like for example, if I had this, here I have two sides, and if I put the angle over here, this would be side-side angle. But there is no side-side angle theorem. So these triangles um, would not be proved congruent. And which is a good thing, because if you wrote this uh, the other way around, it would make a bad word. So sometimes that helps me remember, thank goodness, as a teacher, that the one that makes a bad word is not really a theorem. So that'll help you remember never to use it. So let's see if we can answer some questions now. 
Um, triangle ABC and triangle DBC have the following characteristics. Um, segment BC is a side of both triangles. So, uh, you know, let's try to draw this, I guess. So here we have, um, so here's BC. And that's going to be a side of both triangles. So um, maybe I can do this. All right, so there, so BC is a side of both triangles. So I have to have ABC, so this could be ABC, and DBC. So there you go. Um, what else? Angle ACB, okay, ACB, that would be this angle right here, and DCB are right angles. Well, so this is supposed to be 90 degrees then, and DC. B, these are supposed to be 90 degree angles. So I have to redraw my picture. Okay, so I'll leave it like that. But to make them 90 degree angles, I will draw it more like this. Okay, so now we've got the 90 degree angle thing happening. Okay, what else? Segment AC is congruent to segment DC. So that means that this is congruent to this. So which con congruence theorem can prove that these two triangles are congruent? Um, since this happens to be a right triangle with the 90 degrees, let's see if hypotenuse leg will work, first of all. Um, well, they have a shared side, so that means these are congruent. Um, that's a leg hypotenuse is over here. Um, but then these sides are also congruent, but that's another leg. So hypotenuse leg is a no-go because it does not involve the hypotenuse. So forget about that. Um, well, I have, uh, let's see, let me switch colors. I have a side and angle and a side for the left triangle, and that's congruent to a side and angle and another side. So that's side angle side. So let's see how we did. Boom! That's why it's side angle side. And uh, so whoever had done this quiz before had picked hypotenuse leg, but it can't be hypotenuse leg because the hypotenuse is BD and AB, and we don't know that the, uh, we're not told anything about the hypotenuses. All right, let's look at the next one. Line segments AD and BE intersect at C. Okay, so let's let's draw that so far. Okay, so let's see. Line segments AD, so here's here could be line segment AD um, and BE, so this could be BE intersect at C. All right, so that would make this C. All right, and triangles ABC, okay, so here's triangle ABC over here on the left, and DEC are formed, so triangle DEC is over here on the right. Now, now that I've got a picture drawn, so angle ACB, focus on the C, Okay, so angle A, C, B, um, that's this angle right here. And angle D, C, E, D, C, E, that's this angle right here, are vertical angles. All right, that's true. All right, this is what vertical angles are. Um, and we know that vertical angles are, are always equal. It's a vertical angle theorem. So these angles that I just marked are definitely congruent. Um, now, angle B is congruent to angle E. All right, so you know what? I feel like I should do this in a different color. So I have um, these vertical angles that are automatically equal. Now we also have angle B, which I will double mark, and that's congruent to angle E, which I will double mark. Okay, um, what else? BC is congruent to EC. Okay, so BC 
it is right here, and that's congruent to EC, which is right here. So which one of these is it going to be? Uh, which one of these will prove that the two triangles are congruent? Well, they are not right triangles as far as we know, so we can forget about hypotenuse leg. That's out. Now look at the pieces I have. I have two angles and a side. So is it going to be angle, side, angle? All right, that's two angles and a side. Or will it be angle, angle, side? Because that's also two angles and a side. Well, it depends. Is the side in between the angles, or is, it, or is the side off to the side, if you will? Um, so look at this picture. I see my two angles, and the side is in the middle between them. I look at the other triangle, two angles, and I see the side in the middle between the two angles. So that means it would be angle, side, angle. Okay, so this should be the answer right here. Let's check it out. Boom. Okay, SSS, uh, which is what this, um, whoever took this quiz had picked this, that would mean that we have three pairs of sides. Um, and we just don't have that. We only have one pair of sides and we have uh, all these angles. So definitely not side, side, side. Okay, let's look at the next one. Hmm, so we have this picture here. And the congruence theorem that proves that triangle MNP, okay, that's like this triangle up here, and is congruent to triangle ABC, that's this triangle down here. Well, look what we have. Um, we have a side, all right, congruent to another side. We have an angle, which is congruent to another angle. And we have a side. Now this part right here in the middle is shared. Okay, that's shared. So that's obviously equal for both. But then you see the little markings on the leftover part. So that's enough to tell us um, that this uh, side over here is going to be the same for both triangles. Okay, too many little marks. but Okay, so anyway, we have a side, an angle, and another side. Um, so we have two angles and a side, so will that be side, angle, side, or will it be side, side, angle? Well, remember there is no side, side, angle, so that takes that out immediately. There is no side, side, angle, so it's got to be side, angle, side. Um, plus, look what we have. We have the two sides and the angle that's in the middle between the two sides. So side, angle, side. So this should be the answer right here. And there you go. Okay, it's definitely not angle, angle, side because we only had one pair of angles. Let me erase all these marks. All right, look back at the markings. This angle is congruent to that angle. That's only one pair of angles. All right, so we, def we definitely don't have two pairs of angles that, that we know. Okay, what's next? So we have the picture and then go. Which one of these is it? Now, we do not know that this is a right triangle. So we don't know that. So we cannot go with hypotenuse leg. So we have to throw that out. If we knew that this was 90 degrees, that's a hypotenuse, that's a leg hypotenuse leg would be good, but we are not given 90 degrees. Um, now, see how we have the shared side right here? This is the same for both triangles. So even though there's no markings on it, we can go ahead and mark that ourselves. Because um, that's definitely the same for both triangles. So now look what we have. We have a side, a side, and a side for one triangle. And then we have the same side and a side and a side. So that's going to be side, side, side. All right, we have all three sides congruent to all three sides. So this should be the answer right here. Boom. Okay, and we already talked about why the answer cannot be hypotenuse leg. Okay, what about this one? All right, we're trying to prove which relations. Okay, we got all kinds of triangles everywhere. Um, so we're given these 90 degree angles 
and we're given that GH is congruent to ED. So basically, basically we're given what's marked. Now, so we got to be careful because there's different triangles in here. Um, I have a feeling that this is what we're going to wind up doing. So look at this triangle over here that I'm marking in blue. Okay, so that's one triangle. And now look at this overlapping triangle that I'm going to mark in red. These two triangles we can prove to be congruent. Okay, let's check it out. Now, I know these are some squiggly, horribly drawn pictures, but I'm going to try to work with them anyway. Oh, they're not even connected. Stand by. All right, that's much tidier. So now, I believe that we can prove that these triangles are congruent to each other using one of our theorems. All right, so let's talk about it. Now, look at the blue triangle, which I just pulled down from here. So this is G, H, D. Now, remember that H is a 90 degree angle, so I can go ahead and put that. And uh, we know that this is going to be congruent to the other side. Now, meanwhile, this triangle that I just pulled over here, so still we have this H, okay, was over here on the left, and then this was D, and then angle D was a 90 degree angle, so let's go ahead and put that. Um, and again, this side over here, ED, oh yeah, let me not forget E. Um, ED was congruent to GH, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that. Now, when these triangles were overlapping, they had a shared side, so focus on that. All right, when you have a side in common, HD, that's going to be automatically congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So now that I have them separated, I can still say um, that, you know, of course, this HD is going to be congruent to this HD because they really were the same segment HD in the original picture. I've just drawn them separately now. So, why are these two triangles congruent? Now, they didn't even bother trying to trick us with hypotenuse legs. So, even though these are 90 degree angles and we might have been tempted to go with a hypotenuse leg, um, the hypotenuse EH and GD, we don't have any markings. We know nothing about them. So, Th that's why hypotenuse leg wouldn't have worked. So forget about that. But what do we have? We have two sides and an angle. All right, so two sides and an angle. So is that side, side, angle, or is it side, angle, side? All right, two sides and an angle. Um, as I mentioned on a previous problem, there is no such thing as side, side, angle. That's not a theorem. So we don't really have to worry about side side angle. That would make a bad word if you put the A in the front. So you know that's not going to work. Also, side angle side. You need two sides and the angle that's in the middle between them. And that's what we have here. We have these two sides and the angle in the middle. We congruent to these two sides and the angle in the middle. So that is side angle side. It just goes right in order. A side, an angle, and a side. Side angle side. So what do we have here? So um, it's going to have to be the top one because it's the only one that has the right theorem. So triangle GHD, GHD is congruent to triangle EDH, EDH, uh, by side angle side as we just discussed. So it has to be, the I, don't, I really don't need to look at the others because I know this is the answer. Boom! Okay, it's, and uh, so whoever had done this quiz had picked angle side angle, um, but the only angles we know are these 90 degree angles. That's just one pair of angles, okay, but not, the, not another. We don't have a second pair of angles. Okay, and that looks like that's it. That's going to be the end of this tutorial video. Um, go ahead and give the quiz another try. Good luck.